Gosling, isn't it? Yeah, nothing ever changes. <laughs> Your sixth studio album, Lost Forever, Lost Together, is finally released on Monday, March 10th. What are your thoughts on the fans' reaction? All right, yeah, so far it's been uh, it's been insane, actually. We, we have been really blown away. Like, normally we kind of, it comes out and people take a while to kind of get into it. The, the response has been just overwhelming. Uh, everyone's been so nice and seems to really love it. And, yeah, really taken back by it. It's really fun. Amazing. The album has been streamed in its entirety on YouTube. Did the band want to call the Tinder album series? Well, the, it leaked, unfortunately, before. So we kind of thought we might as well go with it and put our own one up there and, and give it the best quality and uh, also just see what, on our own end, see what people were thinking uh, of like individual tracks as well, kind of gauge what to play. Um, so it probably will linger it a little bit, but I think we have such a dedicated fan base that they know how much it, it means to us, so I'm sure I'll take I've seen a lot of people posting about pre-orders and yeah, I've already yeah. everyone. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I think I think that's the, the beautiful thing about about our band is, is uh, I think people realise that we're not we're not rock stars and we're not we're not you know we're not cool band. <laughs> so we're just it's like a it's like a joint effort. You know, I think people get stoked when they see us do well and, and we feel so flattered that people want to see us do well. This album is an absolute beast. It's definitely back to the heavy '90s normal architect sound. Did you feel there was more pressure with this album? make sure you got it right and back to normal? Um, well, I think we felt less pressure than with Daybreaker because we'd done Daybreaker and, and that was still heavy, a lot heavier than the here and now, so we knew we were on the right track. Um, and it was actually quite fun going into the studio and doing it off of a record that we liked. Um, but yeah, at the same time, it was like we wanted to make sure it was like a really intelligent, heavy record, not just chug, chug, chug. We wanted to make sure that it was thought out and catchy. And Original. Yeah. And set a vibe as well. That's, that's what we really wanted to do is we wanted to have like a start to finish vibe the whole way through and I think we managed to do that. Definitely. You recorded in Sweden. Does it make the writing process easier being away from home distractions or...? Yeah, it, it was cool because we kind of got to immerse ourselves just fully in the, in the album. Mm -hmm. um, and the producers were amazing as well. Henrik and Frederick were so cool. Henrik in, in particular worked so hard on the record. Um, but yeah, it was cool living together and just being in the studio and just working every day as hard as we possibly could. And yeah, it was nice to kind of be in another country. Scotland's very own, but Andrew looks like he could be your twin. Murray McLeod from the Excerpts mm -hmm. was guest vocalist. What made you decide to have him? Well, he's, uh, he's a, such a, an amazing first off person. Uh, I think he's, he's like one of my best friends, mm -hmm. for sure, and, and, and with the band as well. Um, I've known him for, I'd say, eight eight, nine years now, went to college with him together and I've just stayed very good friends since then and we're all big fans of uh, both his bands, Excerpts and Cold Crow's Dead and uh, yeah, we one night me and him just went out and got drunk and I showed him like a demo of the song, I was like, I really want you to sing on, on the album and then when we were tracking demos, he came up to Tom and Dan's house and put his part down and it sounded great. Really, really he's really vocal sure. tool sits well on it. Yeah, it's a perfect part. Like, he's, he's such a good, he's such a good vocalist and uh, yeah, he really Well, I think I think it's it's like a very hopeful record, and also it's kind of like it, it talks about the, the worries and the, the problems that we all face. You know, in the, in the world, it's not a very not a very safe time for anyone. You know, it, it, there's so much confusion around everything. You know, and, and there's so many things that we're not told. But I think the the overriding thing is that we're, when shit hits the fan, we're all in this together. Like you know, we're one planet. We're all one. It'd be great to go out with that live. They're really good friends. Chase, in particular, is a really good friend of mine. So it's going to be cool to go and hang out. Okay, amazing yeah. tour. Need to bring all the Yeah, I would love to. That's what we're thinking. We're going to try and sort something out. That would be amazing. Yeah. The band had an impressive almost world tour mm. with the fan funded DVD 100 Days. Did you ever expect the fans to get so behind it and like the potential for all the DVDs? Well, I think that was the thing that kind of made us realise how good our fans were and how, how supportive they were. 
fact that they wanted to see, you know, us and what we do uh, so much so that they helped fund the whole thing was incredible. And I think it was good for us to kind of get the point across, like, because, you know, there's only so many times you can tell you, like, oh, we're just normal dudes and we just love playing music. And I think when there's a camera that follows you out of these situations, you kind of realise, like, that we are just, like, normal. yeah, we just <laughs> like playing music and we're just so flat. And I think there's so many DVDs, especially band DVDs, where, like, smoke's blown up like their asses and they're yeah. like they're, they show the amazing shows and they don't show the shit ones and they don't show the frustrations and I think it was very honest of, of what that whole trip was like but it was it was really fun and uh, yeah it was so nice to, to have it fun both and have it yeah. on DVD to keep it was, it was amazing it's like well if I ever have children I'll be like yeah come and see what dad used to do <laughs> the cool stuff yeah. I love like, like, well, I used to be like well, now look at me <laughs> making you dinner It was, it was coming for a while, Tim was very separate from the rest of us and uh, he, he kept himself to himself quite a lot and, and us four were so close anyway that uh, he, he didn't write any of the music, Tom's written everything, um, so there was no real change there, it was just kind of like, okay, he's, he's moved on and we can just carry on as we were, but uh, yeah, he's doing his own thing now and we, we I think it was best for both of us really because it was just so separate in the end, but... Festival, which would be great. Um, we're doing a bunch of Euro festivals actually, uh, with Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, uh, and I think the plan is to go back out to Australia. Finally, nice. yeah, uh, get back out there. We love it out there. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we're already kind of planning our next headline tour, but in the UK, but I don't think that'll be till next year. I think. I'm not sure. We're working. We're working on it. We're trying to. We're trying to get back out and do some other. We just we're just trying. We did we did so much in the UK the year before last. We did like four tours, so we thought it was appropriate to take like a, a year out because yeah. people would be like <laughs> no. wanted to see us, not like oh fucking hell, we're gonna see an architect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To wrap things up, is there anything that you'd like to see people watching? Yeah, just just thanks for uh, supporting our band. We're just we're very very grateful for everything that's happening right now. And we're, we're, we're so flattered that so many people. Awesome, thanks very much.